Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll dive into the world of the latest iPhone technology with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. You see, this device has the latest camera advancements and gaming capabilities that will blow your mind. Make sure you stay to the very end to see the demos and if I recommend if you get this model or not. That being said, let's begin. Introducing the iPhone 15 Pro Max, a powerhouse of innovation in the palm of your hand. From stunning camera features to exceptional gaming performance, this device truly stands out from the crowd. So what are the obvious differences between this model and the 14 Pro Max? The first thing is the weight difference. The 15 Pro Max is made with aerospace grade titanium, making this 6.7 inch device significantly lighter than the 14 Pro Max. The 15 Pro Max is 20 grams lighter due to this material choice, and gone is the lightning port and in is the USB-C port. You see, I'm surprised Apple didn't mention how much courage and innovation it took to adopt this standard, but here we are. I'll later go into detail about the new action button. If you made it this far, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It'll help the channel grow and allow me to produce more content that you'll enjoy. The OLED screen is incredible in its vibrant range of colors, and when you're watching music videos or playing video games on it, you can enjoy your entertainment in the sharpest image quality possible, since Apple is all about attention to the small details. Also, having a bright screen is important when it comes to taking detailed photos and video since you want to make sure you capture everything in stunning detail. The spatial audio is great, and I could hear the lyrics and the instruments in crisp detail whether it was at a low, moderate, or maximum volume. You see, when you're on a speakerphone, it means that you can hear the color in perfect detail no matter how far you are from the phone. The 15 Pro Max has a 6-core GPU and CPU and a 2 times faster neural engine meaning people can experience smooth gameplay stunning graphics quality, and an overall immersive gaming experience that this device has to offer. Honestly, I'm not a gamer, but for the customer, this means that you can play large complex games like Death Stranded or Resident Evil at the highest quality possible. However, downloading games like Resident Evil takes up about 10GB of storage space and takes too long to download. So I opted for Tetris instead, and their performance and responsiveness is just as expected. Smooth, seamless, and stunning. The 14 Pro Max uses a switch to mute incoming notifications, but the designers recognize that this small bit of real estate could be repurposed to do so much more. Now that switch is replaced with the action button, which acts as a shortcut to functions that you want to use on a frequent basis. To map the button to a specific action, you need to go to Settings, Search Action Button, and select the option you want. These options are Silent Mode, Focus Mode, Camera App, Flashlight, Voice Mama app, Translation app, Magnifier, Shortcut, Accessibility, or No Action. I don't have an action camera like a GoPro, but I want to film how the Ultra 2 depth gauge and temperature sensor performed underwater. I was nervous at first filming with the 15 Pro, but then I remember that it's rated IP68 and has a maximum depth of 6 meters up to 30 minutes. Even as I swam underwater, I was stunned at how well the phone performed when filming the Ultra 2 and being submerged in the pool multiple times. After testing underwater, I set the phone to charge and I got the warning message, liquid detected in USB-C connector. This alert appears if you connect a USB-C accessory to your iPhone and doesn't charge your iPhone and liquid is detected. After a few hours of drawing, I was able to charge the phone as if nothing happened. Going through this experience showed how much engineering goes into the iPhone and why it remains such a popular brand. You probably heard this quote, the best camera is the one that you have on you hundreds of times, but Apple really tries to live up to this quote. You see, whenever I move around the city or travel to different countries, I want to be able to take the best photo possible for my family, friends, and you, my subscribers. Yes, you. Moving on to the camera features, the iPhone 13 Pro Max takes photography to the next level. With improved low light performance, AI enhancements, advanced image processing, Every shot you capture is sure to be a masterpiece. It's not easy to strike the perfect balance between cutting edge technology and seamless user experience, but the 15 Pro Max just does that. In this section, I want you to take a moment to guess which camera I'm filming with, the 14 Pro Max or the 15 Pro Max. At the park, I'm about 20 to 30 meters from this woman walking up the hill, but I'm using the telephoto lens and you can see the level of sharpness. The difference between the 14 and 15 is noticeable. The 15 Pro Max can now zoom in 5 times, but the 14 Pro Max can only go up to 3 times zoom. Combined with the AI enhancements, the zoomed in footage looks amazing and is good enough to include for high quality production content. The most exciting thing about using the 15 Pro Max is how well it functions in tracking fast moving objects without losing clarity. 
At the park, I met Stephanie and her beautiful dogs, Bombay and Vita, and she was enthusiastic in helping me test the cam's functionality. Pay attention to the level of detail in this scene. Everything is crisp, but when I suddenly 5 times zoom in into Vita running back, the quality gap becomes apparent. You can understand how much Apple has improved the camera hardware and computational photography in less than a year. Also, the image stabilization is phenomenal as I track the dogs run across the field. Okay, it's cool that the 15 Pro Max is good at tracking a single moving object, but how about several moving objects while maintaining sharpness? At this Chinese event, you have several people moving this beautiful dragon costume at the same time. Pause the video here and take note of how much sharper the 15 Pro Max is and how the colors and shading are rich in tone and depth. The 14 Pro Max was decent in this case, but the 15 Pro Max software is able to keep track of most people in better clarity. I'm using my tripod to film these cyclists blast on these gravelly trails, but you can see how in focus the brightly colored clothes are without appearing blurry or weird on the eyes. I notice that when I'm doing moderately fast, close-up pattern shots of objects like the Ultra 2, the camera can take a few seconds to recalibrate itself. Honestly, it's not that big a deal, but you need to be aware of the camera limitation and I think this is what Apple can tighten up on. Usually, I would use the cinematic mode for these close-up panning shots, but I found that the normal video mode is better just because I'm moving fast. Another feature that is only found in the 15 is the ability to record spatial videos, which can be viewed for the Apple Vision Pro. Spatial videos can be relived in 3D on the Vision Pro and are captured in 1080p and 30 frames per second. Users can find all of these spatial videos that they capture within a new spatial album in the Photos app and all of the spatial videos will be synced across the devices with iCloud. All I need to do is press the Vision Pro icon and the phone takes care of the rest. The iPhone sets recording video from both the advanced main and ultra-wide cameras and scales the field of view from the ultra-wide camera to match that of the main camera which is then saved into a single video file. I'm recording what it's like to be in the forest, but if I had a Vision Pro, how immersive and interesting it would be to relive it. Before making YouTube reviews, I was into photography for many years. My first camera was actually the iPhone 4S. You see, I'd go around the city photographing buildings, people, and other objects of interest, and the photos came out pretty good. But now, <sighs> iPhone's resolution quality has increased exponentially. And this is thanks in part to the deep investment into computational photography as well as AI technologies. Apple is recognized as the leader when it comes to computational photography, and looking at this photo shows how much software improvements have occurred in less than a year. Capturing the scene of this couple in the shade was a lucky moment, but I was impressed at how well the 15 Pro Max processor performed compared to the 14 Pro. Something I noticed is how accurate the skin tone, hair color, and nature texture has gotten, and how the software is working to brighten the scene without making it look abnormal. Even though the Doberman moved I had to look around, both cameras were fast enough to capture her observing the environment. The 14 Pro Max bokeh is well out of focus, but the 15 Pro Max is keeping the background slightly in focus. The direct sunlight haloing effect is something I thought the 14 Pro would show, but to my surprise, it was the 15. So there's still more work to be done by the Apple engineers when it comes to removing the haloing effect in photos. Hey, so I'm in the park right now and I'm testing the front facing camera and it's pretty amazing how sharp and detailed the quality of the front facing camera has evolved over the years. Usually if you are taking photos with the front facing camera, it's like terrible and you know you want to use the timer on the back of the camera for the back camera so you can get some good footage. But now Apple has really really stepped up its game for the front facing camera and it's amazing. Like you can see the level of detail in my facial hair. You can see the leaves, the bark, everything. It's like really, really high quality. And that's also thanks in part to the AI neural engine that are part of the chips, you know, because Apple has really put in great strides of integrating its hardware and software to be seamless and processing like to such a high degree of quality that's just really, really amazing. So I'm really impressed with it, the front facing camera, just the overall quality for just the camera photography overall, because they really, really put in a lot of effort to like, get the best of the best in producing content and videos so that you can share over uh, messaging platforms like uh, WhatsApp, iMessage, and you don't lose that quality whatsoever. So, no, good job to Apple on that. The latest feature for the 15 is the precision finding, but it's only for the 15 Pro models. 
the Precision Finding interface shows continuously updated distance and direction indicators and has a max range of 60 meters. With this feature, I could use it to find my lost iPhone via the Ultra 2 as you see here. If you are looking for your wife in a dynamic environment like Costco, or for friends at a fan at Expo conference, the position finding would be a great feature to use. Disappointingly, when it comes to the battery life, Apple hasn't changed anything in this area, and it's the same lifespan as the 14 Pro Max. Yes, I understand better software optimization means that there's less strain on the battery, making it appear that it's lasting longer. But I think this is a missed opportunity to solidify why an iPhone is the best smartphone. If you're constantly watching videos, you can get approximately 29 hours of battery life, but if you're listening to music, you get about 95 hours. These numbers are okay, but I know Apple can do better. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is a powerhouse when it comes to photography, videography, and gaming. You see, with its exceptional performance, unmatched user experience, and stunning design, this device ticks off the boxes for tech-savvy users who are looking for the best in class. The lightweight aerospace grade titanium makes this device a delight to carry around and doesn't compromise on quality whatsoever. So if you're using this during swimming or outdoor hiking or any outdoor activity, this device is the best to have. When it comes to content creation, like taking photos and videos, the 15 Pro Max has made significant strides since the 14 Pro Max in quality thanks to its latest processor and ever improving computational photography algorithms. The precision find is a nice feature when you're looking for your Apple device or family and friends in a large dynamic environment. What could be better is a longer battery life, which means upgrading the battery chemistry instead of just software optimization. If you're looking for an iPhone for yourself or family member, this would be the perfect device I'd recommend. If you enjoyed this review and want to see more tech content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the latest updates on tech reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below.